name is Stephen Brown. I'm the director and owner of Amtrak. Uh, we are working worldwide with uh, removing human mines for humanitarian reasons. Uh, this is our smallest machine we have, and our largest machine goes up to 30 tons. So we have a wide uh, range of vehicles, but this particular one is designed for Colombia because of the of the area that we have to work in. It's designed for working in between trees. Uh, they don't want us to take the trees out for, for obvious reasons. So we work in between the trees, taking out the mines and the booby traps, uh, which has been left way back from the years of cocaine growing in that area. Uh, we normally, if, if, it's an in, if it's a commercial operation, we will work between eight and 10 hours a day. If it's an NGO operation, it's normally between five and six hours a day. So we're clearing between 600 to 1,000 uh, square meters per hour. Uh, the, worst, the worst case is we have booby traps up to 25 uh, kilograms, which, you, which could be operated by a tripwire, which we've hit before. Um, we don't have a problem with that because of the, the whole machine is armored. So it's fully armored. Uh, we have hit anti-tank mines, believe it or not, in these areas where, where terrorists have taken mines and other devices to try and keep, the, I guess, the, the police, the army away from these areas. And basically, this, because this turns at such a fast speed, it actually takes out the anti-tank mine. Uh, this, this particular tool here, is, this particular one has, is a pick operation. So it actually picks and, and tears the soil away. We have another operation with a flail chain, which we have rocks and many things where this would probably uh, would get stuck on the, on the rock itself, whereas the chain would go around the rock and clean it. Um, but this machine here will take uh, a 3 kg mine, which goes off at Mach 24 and burns at 1,000 degrees C, so, and with an 80 ton lift, and it still survives it. One of the, the unique position of this one is it's interchangeable. You can change this from a flail to a tiller in, in 10 minutes because it's hydraulically driven. But most of all, is that on the rear end, we have a, an excavator which can dig, which can grab, which can detect mines. So what you would do is you would go in this direction detecting mines. When you find a mine, you do a 180, and then you till the mine out. This is the only machine in the world that's like this. My name is Ido Solomon, I'm from uh, Fab Defense. Uh, Fab Defense is an Israeli company uh, manufacturing weapon upgrades, um, butt stocks, grips, bipods, rail systems uh, for existing weapons, uh, mostly uh, for uh, AR uh, models, AK models, Glock, um, and, but a lot of others, uh, a lot of other models as well. There is a lot of need for that because a lot of uh, weapons were built uh, uh, in the past, um, but they cannot accept uh, modern uh, warfare needs like uh, uh, sights or uh, or, uh, um, or lights or whatever whatever is needed uh, uh, for uh, for modern uh, uh, warfare. Um, also, most of the uh, uh, weapon companies that build this kind of uh, uh, weapons. Ergonomically, they don't make everything uh, as good as it needs needs to be. Most of the uh, weapon manufacturers uh, they're trying to uh, build the, uh, the weapon uh, in a low cost uh, manner. So we uh, give the aftermarket product uh, uh, to the units or even private people that needs more than what the weapon companies actually uh, provide. You can see a regular. Uh, M16 A1 that uh, uh, that was built tens of years ago. Uh, what we have done uh, uh, for it is, first of all, we took the regular uh, buttstock and we put the wraps. Our wraps buttstock is a precision wrap, so, uh, uh, precision buttstock um, that can actually uh, gives you um, the cheek razor and uh, a l different length of pull if you need one. Um, it's very light uh, and uh, um, it's very, very uh, ergonomically designed. Um, second of all, uh, a low, uh, a different pistol grip, rubberized, 
much more, uh, much nicer to uh, uh, to handle. Um, lower angle for precision shooting, um, and then a, a bipod. This one is a bipod with a, uh, a bipod grip. We don't make any internal changes. We work only on the outside, on the furniture of the of the gun. You can also see over here uh, our sniper bench, a very light sniper bench that every uh, uh, every soldier or police can just take it on his back, um, and it's really easy to uh, really easy to use. Well, the company shows uh, uh, was here for the last uh, couple of years. Uh, our South and our Latin America. Uh, market is getting bigger and bigger, uh, a lot of uh, uh, the countries, army, police, uh, they have uh, older versions uh, of uh, weapons and sometimes they uh, rather uh, upgrade their own we the weapon they already have than to buy a new one. Cost effective it makes a, a big uh, difference, uh, to upgrade a weapon will cost much less than to buy a new one and they already know the weapon they have so they don't have to make the, all the process of learning how to use or maintain a new kind of weapon so this is this is a this is quite a, a this is quite new so we don't uh, we don't so we don't we didn't start selling those yet this one is uh, uh, the bipod grip our tipo g2 is maybe one of the most popular we sell it we sold it to a lot of law enforcement and armies around the world. Right now, it, actually, the newest project is the Hungary, uh, Hungarian army that uh, makes all these new uh, Scorpion rifles together with uh, uh, with our uh, bipods. Um, you will see our product in a lot of uh, uh, companies that sells uh, uh, that sells the weapon with our parts. But you will not you will not know that it's our parts. It already comes from the from the factory like that. I am Frederick Gustafsson, President for Saab in Latin America. Uh, we are here at Expo Defensa. Uh, this is not our first time, we've been here several times before. To us, it's a very important fair, not only for the Colombian market, but of course for the whole region, since the importance of Expo Defensa is growing uh, year after year, and we see an increased interest, actually, year after year from various delegations from the region and also outside the region. Uh, what we do want to present here in Colombia, first and foremost, is our air superiority package which consists of the Gripen NG or EF aircraft, we have the Area Airborne Early Warning System, RBS-70 anti-aircraft missiles, but also we present our system for self-protection, our naval systems, since there's a big interest from different navals in the regions to present our onboard systems, radars, combat management systems and so forth. As you see in the media there is a program going on uh, and as we also presented at FR uh, this July. Um, and what we offer is the Gripen NG or EF, E single seat, F dual seat, a mix of both of them. The latest generation fighter, uh, same version that we now develop uh, for Brazil. Uh, so it will be uh, the same aircraft. Latest generation of sensors, AISA radar, the wide area display that we developed together with Brazilian industry. Compared to the previous versions, the CD versions, increased range, increased uh, thrust, and completely new set of sensors, the sensors integ integration. Together with the product itself, which is of course important, we offer a very good package of technology transfer, which we have proven in Brazil that we are pretty good at. We have good dialogue with local industry here in Colombia. Uh, and also we, we offer a very good finance package through the Swedish government, which I think would be very uh, favorable for, for the client. The multi-role or omni-role, as someone says, is not only as an example that we can see here, where we carry small diameter bombs, where we carry BVR, anti-aircraft anti missiles, or reconnaissance pods, but the fact that you can change mission type up in there, you don't have to reload or rechange, you don't have to change software, just push a button and then you change the whole functionality of the aircraft. So that's what we mean with a, with a multi-role aircraft. That the same pilot can do all the same missions, 
that the same technicians can support all the different missions and that the aircraft can swing road between the missions in the very same mission. That is very important. Other features that I would like to mention is the new EW system. So here in the wing tips you can see for example the, the new parts of the new EW system where we have integrated uh, the new technology with the nitrogen, uh, gallium nitride technology. Something we have invested heavily the last couple of years is, is at Saab or decades I should say. Technology that we use in our airborne early warning system, our surface based giraffe families and also now at the Gripen where we increase the capability of the EW system and reduce the need for power and so on. So, it, and also the, the cost for life cycle cost severely reduced. A cost efficient solution, but the, the most important is that we are, are a very capable function where we give the customer a lot of flexibility to integrate a mix of weapons. Here you see a mix of European and American weapons. If the customer wants other weapons, it's a free choice and we have the system we do we use to integrate weapons gives the customer big flexibility and looking at the grip and uses today we have grip and uses that mix american european south african uh, brazilian weapons uh, israeli weapons so it's a wide sort of uh, weapon package that we can offer to our customers including the training including including uh, uh, simulators of course but also uh, as i mentioned before the technology transfer if the customer wants to develop their own industry, their own capability, we don't uh, leave any restriction, but we do the transfer of technology. And also we're looking for partners. We as a small country, fairly small company, we need new partners. So that is what we're looking for constantly. So through this vehicle, we find new partners, develop new technology and new products for the future.